to Manual Manny, another video. Hope you guys are doing well. So I'm going to try to categorize the different Goblin characters in the Spider-Man universe. There's so many of them. Special shout out to Zach's collections. He mentioned in one of the comments to one of my videos how it's confusing to keep up with the Goblin characters. So hopefully this will help you out and many others. So these are the categories and subcategories that I've developed. In this video, we're going to be looking at the green section. So the Norman Osborn Legacy Osborn Experimental Mutated Goblins. And in the second part of the series, we're going to look at the Hobgoblin and some of those two bottom subcategories. This overview will not include any alternate universe goblins. So we got to talk about the granddaddy of all the goblins. So Norman Osborn Green Goblin plays a very central role in understanding all the goblin characters. A lot of them will bar borrow his aesthetic. So the glider, the Halloween themed costumes, the gadgets, the pumpkin bombs. And then his Gollum Serum, a lot of the other Gollum characters will be exposed to it. And then in general, his hideouts, many other characters will use his tools, find his hideouts, and adopt different Gollum identities. So again, he's the original Gollum, came in contact with the Gollum Serum during a lab accident. Gollum Serum gave him enhanced abilities, healing, super strength, among many others. But it also drove him insane, and he'd become the Green Goblin. He would die in the comic books, but later return from the dead. He assumed many Goblin identities, one of them being the Red Goblin, when he was fused with the Carnage Symbiote. He would use a piece of his Carnage Symbiote, fuse it with Normie Osborn, his grandson, and he would become the Goblin Child. As of late in the comics, Normie Osborn has become the second Red Goblin. Also, Norman Osborn has adopted a new Goblin identity, so he is now the Gold Goblin. So his sins have been eliminated. He's trying to redeem himself through this new heroic persona. Norman Osborn also took on the role of the Goblin King. So during the Superior Spider-Man run, he's the leader of the Goblin Nation, these criminals and non-criminals inspired by Norman Osborn, and he used them to go to war with the Superior Spider-Man and the Roderick Kingsley Hobgoblin. Okay, the first subcategory is the Green Goblin legacy character. So these are characters that directly followed Norman Osborn as the Green Goblin and had some significant time as the Green Goblin in the comics. We got to start with Harry Osborn, the second Green Goblin. So he's the son to Norman Osborn, so he wanted to avenge his father's death, who died in battle with Spider-Man, and he died twice in the comic books. Bart Hamilton, the third Green Goblin, Harry Osborn's psychologist, he gained knowledge of the Green Goblin in hideouts and equipment via his therapy sessions with Harry Osborn. And he died in battle with Spider-Man and Harry Osborn. Okay, so we have Phil Urick, the fourth Green Goblin. So he took a more heroic route in terms of the Green Goblin persona. So he would also be exposed to the Goblin Serum. And then he would also have enhanced abilities that, that came along with the Green Goblin armor and mask that we can see on the left-hand side. He would assume several other evil Goblin identities as well. So one of them being the Goblin Knight, he's basically a minion to Norman Osborn in the Goblin Nation storyline, and he was given a new suit, as you can see on the screen. He would also become the Goblin King, so after Norman Osborn was defeated, he led what remained of the Goblin Nation. L much later in the comic books, he would be killed by Norman Osborn. So major spoiler ahead, Phil Urich has returned recently in the comic books as the Goblin King. All right, so let's look at the Osborn Experimental Mutated Goblin. So these are Goblin characters that have mutated as a result of being exposed to the Goblin Serum or experimental in nature, meaning clones or androids, etc. We got to first talk about the Proto Goblin. So he's the original test subject for the early version of the Goblin Serum. Real name is Nels Van Adder, research assistant to Norman Osborn. He mutated into a red creature. It's not sure if he's dead or alive. He fell into a river. We have the fifth Green Goblin, so he's a nameless construct. He acted as a decoy and bodyguard to Norman Osborn, and he died in Disintegrate, as you can see in the upper panel. We have, we have the Goblinettes, the Goblin Women. So these are a trio of androids. They're created by Harry Osborn using his father's technology. So they were basically meant to kidnap his own son, Normie Osborn, and they were basically supposed to douse him in the Goblin Serum so he can become the next Green Goblin. They were all destroyed in battle with Spider-Man. We have the Grey Goblin, George Stacy, supposedly the son of Norman Osborn and Gwen Stacy, but we later learned that he was just a clone. We have Menace, Lily Hollister, socialite, Harry Osborn's ex-girlfriend. So she was exposed to the Goblin Serum and can transform at will to this Goblin character known as Menace. She was later cured and is now unable to transform into Menace. She changed her look a little bit during the Goblin Nation storyline. 
We have Monster, Carly Cooper, forensic specialist, Peter Parker's ex-girlfriend, should be exposed to a modified version of the Colin serum, and then she would become this Goblin character called Monster. She has also been cured of this ailment of becoming Monster. All right, and then it should be noted that Menace, Monster, and the Goblin Knight were all part of the Goblin Nation storyline. All right, we have Queen Goblin. So, Ashley Kafka, she's a psychologist, so she's a supporting character in Spider-Man Universe. She was cloned. And then this clone was forcefully bonded with Norman Osborn since, and then she became a mercenary for the Beyond Corporation. Recently in the comics, she's trying to go after Norman Osborn. All right, guys, so that is it for part one. So part two, we'll be looking at the Hobgoblin. All right, so thank you, guys. Let me know if I miss anything, any errors on my part. Please leave a comment below. Let's have a conversation. And all that good stuff, please like, share, subscribe, check out my other videos and shorts. Talk to you guys next time.